John Curry was a very different conductor from any I'd ever worked with before. Um, he had a completely different concept of sound. John Curry preferred what I would call a box kind of a sound where all of the sections are equal and all are giving about the same power structure. In a lot of ways it was more like an opera chorus and as it turned out uh, very shortly after that the Master Chorale became the uh, the opera chorus for LA Opera. And so we're doing the uh, Mozart Requiem and we're, we're getting it pretty straight and getting it set up the way it should be but then Curry said give it a, a sense of the romantic. John was kind of um in a way, an athletic conductor. There was a lot of power in what he was trying to give to us, and we, in turn, tried to give him a lot of power back. So in that way, there was a lot of excitement about what was happening at the time because everyone was really super involved physically in what was going on. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our Scottish celebration. It's a celebration of that whole culture of music, which is Highland, and lowland and the highlands in the south of Scotland as well. These are two of our brashest, most swaggering pieces and you've just heard the swaggering Piper of Dundee, nothing to do with crocodile of that name. <laughs> I think everybody's favorite show that uh, John Curry did was the Scottish program that he did of Scottish folk songs. It was primarily a cappella, and John brought a wealth of songs, some, some I'd never sung. He was just a Scottish uh, phenom who brought his beautiful extravaganzas and, and Scottish pomp to the, to the chorale performances. Uh, I think every Scotsman in town came to those because they just loved the glorification of, of his uh, background. These turned out to be remarkable concerts because they began out on the plaza beforehand. He would have Highland dancers literally dancing on the plaza and then they would be, the bagpipes would lead them in. You could just feel it coming from him and his own personal warmth and character coming through and the fact that he did all the arrangements for the orchestra and then brought in the pipers. I'm, I'm a big sucker for that kind of Celtic stuff and uh, that was definitely one to remember. This is a very popular show and Curry always came out in kilt and uh, I remember one year they even got it to be uh, sponsored by Drambui, so uh, everybody in the audience got a free Drambui, you know, if, uh, if they uh, went out to the lobby. We uh, also hired the uh, drums and pipers from Scotland, flown in for this concert, and I will never forget the uh, drummers coming down the aisles of uh, the pavilion. And, and then the pipers following, and then we coming in and singing, coming into that concert. It was just fantastic. <laughs> 